Tonight, this floor is going to fill up with musicians, stars, talent, and original music. I'm Nandi Matita, and this is Coke Studio Season 2. This is how it works. We bring household names, raw inside talent, and emerging stars into our creator space for two days. And there, under the watchful eye of Dream Team's Trey, these unlikely parents get to create a fusion. We show you the making of the songs, and you'll feel the passion, the pain, and then you'll see the track being recorded right here. Tonight on Coke Studio, award-winning hip-hop hero Aifani and rock star Francois Van Coke create a unique fusion. But first, we have a TV star Morena the Squire and Zambian songstress Lindiwe creating a raw hit. Well, that's quite an unexpected lineup that the producers are willing to try out. But Coke Studio loves a challenge and our buzzword for tonight is diversity. Trey will be meeting up with our stars in the creative space and will follow their behind the scenes antics as they get to create a brand new song in just two days. Hey Trey, are you feeling the pressure, Baba? <laughs> now our first guy coming in is actually a presenter, former, and now he's taking my position. Let's meet him. Hi, I'm Morana the Squire. Um, from Soweto, Johannesburg. I am a vocalist. You used to present. I did. I never knew you did music. I never knew you did present. <laughs> <laughs> the kind of music that you're doing, um, can you give us a little bit more as to what that is and what that entails? Hey man, I'm a vocalist first. Yeah. Yes, that's what I do, I sang. I don't sing. Sang. I sang. Watch out. <laughs> so, Watch out. Oh man, um, at the end of the day, it's all about what works. I like anything that's very musical, you know, that's got like variations, you know, high highs and low lows and... If it doesn't give you anything, then let's not do it. Okay, well, I've got somebody that I need you to meet. She's a Zambian-born lady. Oh. Very pretty, beautiful. Hello. My name is Lindy Wei and I consider myself a pan-African artist. Uh, why? Because my father was South African, my mom is Mozambican, and I was born and brought up in Zambia. Um, Lindy Wei. Your, your style of music, can you give us a little bit My more? My style is Afropop. Dance hall, R&B, soul. I think that's it. So there's a lot of versatility between the two of you. Quite so. Which is why it's a perfect match with me. I know him from TV. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> he sings and he sang. I was like, yeah, exactly, he sang, you know? So let's head on out to the studio. Time to slay. This is your boy Cuba, music producer, sound engineer. Uh, club DJ. I'm all the way from a middle back in Pumalang in a small town called Mshuzi. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be fun. You don't know me, but we were told to hug. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Super, I'm super. So awesome. Where do you guys know each other from? He did Whoa. my hit single, yo! Oh, oh, okay, watch out. I think I have one of the most honest relationships as far as uh, artists and producers oh, concerned um, oh, with Cuba. I'll leave you guys to, you know, come up yeah. with what directions you want to take and then we'll just chat about it as we go along. There's this instant chemistry. Right also trying to get used to it because it's just such a perfect pairing. You want to sing something maybe this year? Maybe just play some chords? So here we're standing face to face with the world so far away. Nothing's wrong with how high I get touching you every day. Hold on my lights up, baby. Oh, wherever you go, I'm coming with you. Come on, you. somebody. Come on, somebody. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Ah, I'm just excited you. now. Am I in the club now? You're in the club. The chemistry that we have is working perfectly for all of us. I'm ready to experiment, but Mahoba, I mean, when you're from Sandra, I mean, scoop why, why? I mean, it's Kuzuku. I want it. You're working with people who have ideas, different, different tastes, you know, different. Uh, approaches when it comes to music. Cuba plays the first of two tracks that he had prepared for the Raw Fusion. He had produced Morena the Squire's first album, but Lin Diwe, on the other hand, is unknown to him. I've worked with Morena Squire, I understand the sound, but with when it came to Lindy, it was a bit of a challenge to try and make her comfortable. So this is the second one. Uh -huh. Morena the Squire seems to be feeling the vibe. But Lindy, where on the other hand, is not convinced of the two tracks pre-prepared by Cuba. There might be a solution, though. We sing note for note. We just don't. We just don't have that ear 
and we need a sessionist who can who can do that. As long as we have our melody, and we have the words that go with our melody, yeah. and we find a synergy between the two of us, mm. then we'll leave him with all the hard work, then he can build all yeah. those things. Yeah. Making the melody whole needs a, a, a sessionist. It's still dry. Yeah. We're gonna mm -hmm. add like one of the guitar and whatever else that we can add, but... Jambi, <laughs> Yeah, I'll definitely do have like some percussion going mm. in there. Yeah. Yeah. Cuba wastes no time and starts crafting. He creates a third tune from the elements of the second song, but... Hi, how are you? Something is missing. Um, I'm good. You're speaking to Cuba, ne? I'm, I'm with the artists Morena Squire and Lindy, eh? And uh, we about to do a song here, and um, Morena feels much more comfortable if we'd had like a guitar. Okay. We unfortunately won't be able to bring something in like for oh. both full days. We need get the guitarist to help us with the songwriting right now. Today and tomorrow. Hmm. Yes. If it's not available, just let us know. Then now uh, we'll, we'll we'll try we'll make a plan. We'll come up with the plan. Yeah. We're getting Ray because none of us play actual instruments. We need some sort of an instrument mm. as well. Going as well. Yeah. Just like creating yeah. something. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. At the middle point of the day, it seems like the guys' attitudes have dropped just a little bit. This morning, they came in with high energy, but now they seem to have reached a little bit of a dead space. It'll be interesting to see how the afternoon carries on. Hi, man. Hi, 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 hi. Sorry, it's cut. It's been a month. Right now, we're waiting for uh, a guitarist because we need some melodies, we need some chords going. Time is running out and stress levels soar. Our vocalists need inspiration and direction. I can feel that desperation. Okay, so we've got a, we've got a guitarist. <laughs> I think I was nervous in the beginning. Ray Cola. <laughs> Relief is palatable as session guitarist Ray Cola brings on the juice. From the onset, he started giving us all sorts of juice. And now the song is like 10 times better. The song just went from there to there. We were blown away. It's been a very challenging day one for our artists in the studio. Lots of productiveness has happened. Stressful, exciting, fun. We are all buzzing. They've had to try and overcome a few challenges, but it looks like they're pulling through. Let's see how they do tomorrow. From me, I'm out. Coming up, after numerous challenges, Lindy Wei and Morena the Squire drop a banger. Hip hop hero Ifani and rock star Francois Fun Coke create a sizzler in just two days. Welcome to the second day of this wonderful collaboration. We have Lindy Wei Pungane. We have Morena the Squire, as well as Cuba the producer, still in the studio trying to make a magnificent hit for us. I did my part, but here comes the stressful part for the artist, like literally writing. The day started off fairly, fairly smooth, uh, but I still didn't have any lyrics. Yesterday, they had to get a guitar player to come through and fill in the sounds, you know, that they needed for the song. Today, I want to see exactly what they're going to be doing. What's happening? Uh, so far, like, okay, the beat is done. Okay, quarter two done. Mm. I heard the guitars um, yesterday, but I didn't hear the final product. Hey, either. man, it's sounding fresh, man. I am struggling to... Uh, I think it's because I'm too excited about the creation of the beat and the sound. I just had the pre-chorus, and Lindy, being Lindy, had all the lyrics tied up in a bow and clean and neat and tidy. You give a love in that thing that's I so couldn't sweet. get that much sleep because I had to finish the song knowing that today was about recording and finessing the song, so I had to come in with yeah. something. You came and walked me right up on my sleep. Oh. Hey, Ma. Hey, I've got an idea. Oh, for... We make it a back song. Let's record. The world, it was you, my girl. They don't want you to stay. Baby, you keep turning me on. You know I got somebody waiting at home. I had a problem with the key. Now, Lindy sings like this. Baby, you keep turning me on. And I sing like how I speak. I sing like this key. Happy end of the world. No. Happy, happy, happy end. At the end of the world. Yes, yes. At the end of the world, it was you, my girl. Baby, I want you to stay. 
I know the process sometimes can be a drag, especially when you're trying to find inspiration, but we seem to be feeding off each other's energy. She came up with the melody. She wanted a more African sound. I was like, I'm cool with that as long as it's house, because I like making music that makes people dance as well. Getting to a point where us working together and to creating a song, that was a bit of a little challenge for me, but we managed to do it, you know. After a lot of uncertainty and anxiety, our raw talent started finding their tones and each other, finally sounding like angels as their voices enhanced each other. Raw acts are a challenge, and we're never guaranteed that a fusion will amount to a great song. Lindy and Morena have proven us wrong. I see both of you guys are looking very suave today. You know, you're both in your elements. So um, I just wanted to touch on, you know, the fashion aspect of being an artist and the importance of it, you know, basically to you as an individual, um, to you as an artist and to people that, that subscribe to your music. Well, it's all about taking care of yourself. I mean, uh, when you're in the limelight, people look up to you and if you feel good, you have to look good and represent your brand. If you looking good, chances are, you're feeling good. Or you're not, you're just wearing good clothes. Yes. <laughs> our stylish raw stars are onto something ripe and are ready for the airwaves. Now, Coke Studio is well renowned for making super Saiyan hit songs. And Nandi, I'm sure you're going to enjoy this one. Over to you. All right, thanks, Trey. This is a fusion that embodies the passion and personalities of the participants. Now, I've had a sneak preview of the track. Tribal house with elements of surprise. The voices are sublime and rhythm and move totally moves me. This song has me turned. Now, it's up to the nation to hear this pan-African blast. Do enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> yes, it was a girl. But you guys have such a beautiful synergy. I mean, was it instant when you guys met? Take it away, Lindy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think the second him and I hooked up, we, our personalities clicked. Mm. Uh, Idea-wise, we knew exactly where we wanted, what we wanted to do, so it was perfect right from the start. Ah, oh, fantastic. And for you, Mr. Squire, how was the experience? The experience was, um, it was uh, quite uh, exhilarating. Mm. It was um, different. Uh, you know, she came, um, she gave us the idea of going African and we jumped on it and I, f you know, I just rolled, you know. The rest is history, I was just right? the squire. <laughs> it's what you do. In life. Guys, this Jeanard. is a hit. Well, thank you. Of so course, much. girl. Have you met us? <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't take it. I can't take it. Come on, baby I girl. Mean, we're terribly proud of the music that Coke Studio crafts and creates. And we are proud of you guys. <laughs> thank you. Now, last season, we had so many brilliant bangers. And one of them was from December Streets, DJ Kunis, and Swaziland's Mosaic. Can you feel it? Did very well. So we decided to give it another spin in our hip bag. A unique fusion, probably one of the most daring on Coke Studio Season 2, Ifani and Francois Funko.
feeling it, Tristan is truly a star. Talk about diversity, talk about unlikely pairings. Trey, our music man of the day, is waiting to take the next crazy fusion away. Next up, it's rock legend Francois Van Koch and a man with a sense of humor who's also become quite suave and dapper. He won a summer for best rap album. It's I Find It. I Find It. <laughs> This rock thing is so tiring, wow. I didn't know. Franza? Hi, I'm Francis Van Gogh. I'm 35, I'm a singer and I'm from Belleville in the Western Cape. I'm very excited about this fusion. Um, it's gonna fuse well. I think we're gonna do something that's that's very cool. It's gonna be electrifying, you know? Yes, um, how are you feeling about, you know, the kind of possibilities that lie mm -hmm. ahead of you for the next two days? It's gonna be interesting to work with the guys for sure. My name is uh, Aifani, Mr. Aimani. I am a rapper right now. I am here to make some music, dope music, with my boy, uh, Francois Van Gogh. It's been a fan since your song you did with Jack Perrow. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, 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 with awesome. the, on the sand dunes and stuff. Dance. Yeah, dance, dance, okay. yeah. All right, dope. guys, let's not waste any more time. Let's go to the studio. Hi, I'm Rudolf. I'm 22 years old, and I'm a producer from Poch. Today I'm producing French and Ifani, but um, throughout the year I also play in, in Francois' band. This is the first time that I work, work with a um, hip-hop artist of Ifani's caliber. And I was pleasantly surprised how I, I don't think I could have asked for two better artists to work with. Okay, but let's start at the beginning then. Like obviously the way I've normally done it when I've collaborated with rappers is it's like a rapper's Mm -hmm. Singing chorus. Mm -hmm. Is that the way you kind of see it, or do you want to try? I want to try something. Something different. Something different. Yeah. Cool. Like I want to lose my head. Like but I want to listen to it, be like, Yo! yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, let's do it. My name is Richard. I am one of two guitarists for Front of Franco. Fusing with Afani for this project, I'd say it's a rad, rad thing to do. Um, obviously, taking two people from completely separate backgrounds. Um, let's do it. What feel do we want to give the song? Do we want a dance feel? Do we want a festival feel? My name is Jed and I'm 33 years old and I'm from Cape Town and I'm currently the guitarist for Francois Van Koch. This is a band, we all have separate influences. Hopefully we can make a fusion of the best hip-hop stuff you can come up with and the best rock we can come up with and put it together to create a good song. So I was thinking a very simple drum beat. Mm -hmm. And then maybe, obviously, for front you are bringing a rock element. So we have a few stuff to choose from, like maybe playing drum beat like this. And then with the guitar, something like that. The song always takes its own form, that's the thing. You can never really feel at point one where you're going to land up at point five. You don't know. It's got to evolve itself. So that's a vibe. Mm -hmm, that's a vibe. Okay, so the other one I had, next one, something like this. Producer Dolph is pushing limits. This is going to cross borders, cultures, and continents. Can you play without the, the drums? Without the drums? Dolph is quite creative. You know, he has a lot of ideas, and I, I like the energy that he's giving off, and we jamming. Well, my style of music is hip hop, uh, and my music is is based on my life because I don't quite think like a musician because I'm an engineer. I'm trained as an engineer, so I'm like a fusion of the two. Can you remove the kicks of all of them? Yeah, yeah. So you'll call it for me, eh? Here we go, we go. 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 We go
I never thought it would be possible when I was a kid that to do this as a career. But um, when I started my first band, we kind of left our jobs. We focused on music, and and that. That was the only thing we wanted to achieve. We wanted to do this as a living. Are you cool with two rap sections in this thing? Like as an intro and maybe as a bridge? Or do you... Yeah, like at the end. Yeah, cool. I think my passion for music is still the reason why I get up in the morning is to, to write new music, to make new music, to record new music. Hi, my name is Van van Vossiben and I play drums for Franz of Van Gogh. I think it's great if I need to um, to collaborate with us. Like I was very excited when I heard this was gonna be or he's gonna be with us. And I love I love this whole kind of collab thing. Um, it's funny, music is a universal thing, so it, it's very interesting for me to see how stuff can blend so easily. I dig that, dude. Actually, I, I really like that. Well. So I put in some some flow there, some melody. I was like, ah, Mr. Imani, not only do you dress well, but you think well too, my brother. I said, yes, high five. And we started working. No need for a hashtag. Hi, funny, hi, money. And Francois Van Gogh have found each other. I think uh, I really got into music when I was about 14. I, I think uh, the grunge movement was a big influence for me when I was just entering high school. That was the first time I really fell in love with music. These days I get influenced by way more than when I was younger. I'm open to more music too. I dig that. So right now we have three solid ideas and now we're just gonna marry them. I funny shows his vocal strengths and drives the melody line. I man, it's good. I didn't even know if Fani can sing, you know. And then suddenly he came with this awesome, awesome melody. But but with the lyrics and everything already almost, you know, and we were just blown away by it and you know, kept it. <laughs> I think the song is kind of about the, just the influence of social media on our lives and how much it <laughs> takes away from us and our time. That's that's what the lines are about that I I wrote. Um, we'll see if it if it stays. <laughs> Coke Studio brings the most unlikely characters, sounds, and genres together. Bold steps make giant leaps. People bond. If this works, we have a song. <sighs> so basically the day is done and dusted. My boy Ifani as well as Francois Van Koch have been in the studio working on a song about social media. So from us, at the end of the day, I'll see, see you tomorrow. Don't forget the hashtag, Coke Studio ZA. Peace. Coming up after the break, Ifani and Francois Van Koch melt the fusion into pure magic. Oh, yeah. And on that banger, it's welcome to Coke Studio Day Two. Oh, that was nice. We're here, it's day two. The pressure's on. We're gonna have to make it happen now. My personal experience has been great, man. Um, I actually. The fun for me started today. Um, as soon as I get behind my kit, I'm in my comfort zone. Day two is going by pretty smoothly. Testing one, two, how to tame a guitar. The collaboration with Dolph, our producer, all I can say about him, I mean, he's 22 years old and today and the, yesterday he's been absolutely epic in the studio. I mean, he's came up with the initial idea got everyone moving. Okay, the lyrics and instruments have been tamed, but without Francois and Ifani, there's no Streetwise fame. Jappy. The, the band has a lot to do, come on. So they were laying down drums, guitars. So I came through and I was like, okay, let's, let's keep going. 
you know guys keep going i'll go write some lyrics all the time the cool guy catch up catch up don't jack yan fun yan tan zon pu yan cat get the ball but i go long do tan day the ball now step check and tap tap on your instagram with the soul fly but i know this all lies and you know now that i know now okay man this is funny right yeah, I, th I think yesterday I realized um, what I, I find he's capable of when he came up with the chorus. I think um, I was struggling to get something and something popped out of his mind and that is the chorus that we stuck with. I think it's really cool. So I wasn't actually nervous to see what, what he's going to come up with uh, with his rap sections. So um, when I heard what he was doing, it, it was already immediately exciting. It, I didn't expect anything else. Exactly that, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think songwriting in general uh, is always a challenge. And I think we found that. Song, songwriting process is always a um, kind of emotional wave, but it always ends well. Mm -hmm. Low and too high. So, is that cool with you? Yeah, boy. Right. But I think that's where the beauty lies in it there's this magic that happens under pre pressured situations where two artists have to perform and you, you kind of have to work on impulse for two artists to come together write a song in two days and make it sound good yeah i'm i was actually the last two days was was cool i was i was very worried coming into this thing um you know to work with someone and connect with with someone in such a short space of time, then writing um, music together and recording it. It's actually not that much time, but I think um, connected very well with Ifani. Uh, we went out for a meal together last night and um, I think uh, I made a friend over this experience. You know now that I know now. <laughs> Challenges were experienced. Um... In fact, nothing in the studio, to be honest with you, but there was a big challenge when we went outside, you know, because after we rapped, after day one, uh, Francho was like, guys, let's go to a Mexican place. I was like, okay, cool, you know, maybe I like Mexican, I'll try it out. We got there and we ate these hot things, my man. <laughs> <laughs> We've worked pretty well together. Meeting Afani off the cuff was actually very enjoyable. We got along like a house on fire immediately. We went for dinner last night, we had a good, a good time. And, um, it's been great, you know, it's actually been challenge free. Um, I also saw how talented my band is again, you know, they reaffirm themselves every time. They're such amazing musicians. Um, so overall, it was a great experience for me. The Cold Bonding Studios, where fusions mix it up and unlikely characters connect. What genre are these super talents creating? I'm not really sure what the genre is. I think it's kind of industrial rock with a little bit of hip hop. <laughs> um, it's rap and roll, man. <laughs> I don't know. This genre is called Chubacabra Tuba. Yeah. <laughs> why, why are you laughing? <laughs> So the song I'm feeling good about, we like it, um, we hope other people like it, but they, we've done the best we can do in these two days to make a great track. Yeah, it was dope. They really, really dope guys, and I really wish them all the success. Hey. Collaboration is the name of the game here at Coke Studios, and you guys have just witnessed a classic one. After the break, we're gonna check out the performance. Coming up, it's Rap and Roll, better known as Chuba Cabra Tuba by Francois Van Gogh and I Funny, I'm Money. Thanks, Chay Chay Chay. It's a massive challenge coming up with the song in just two days and between such vastly different artists. They definitely gelled and producer Rudolf Willemser really produced a masterpiece. Hit it, guys! <laughs> And you never hear when I need you, but I log on and I see you, but I want more than a picture. 
social media lovers Did the password for the Wi-Fi But I can't get to you, Baba Timeline, my only memory Glasses. Clearly, I didn't get the memo, but that's okay. How is this experience? Because I find hip hop rock star, you know, it's, it's something different, but that's what Coke Studio is all about, right? Yeah, I think it was fantastic for me to meet Afani <laughs> yeah. and work with him. Yeah. And, and working with my fantastic band as well. It was a. Uh, love them. Was Very an honor, you know. I was a fan. I was a fan before, and uh, I'm a bigger fan now. He's a lovely person as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's so nice when you hear a sexy man like this <laughs> talk about you. Right? Like it's like wow. And you know, he's so famous, eh? But yeah, but Francois is big in he's South massive. Africa. massive, absolutely. Yeah. But now I find you talking about sexy. I see you got the suave, sexy thing going on. Because people man. don't know that I you've went changed went your whole hey. look. Oh, sexy, <laughs> we, we all love the We all love the haircut. <laughs> Thank but you. But also you used to yes. kind of doing fusions like this. You love experimenting, of course, mm -hmm. the sounds. Mm -hmm. So how was this experience for you specifically? This, like you said, you know, I like fusion. I like mixing with yes. people. I'm sorry, Francho, you're not the only one. Oh, it's yeah. hard. <laughs> <laughs> but the only yes, one to I do enjoyed it, this it. I enjoy, yeah, I enjoyed it very much. And like I said, Francho is a really great musician. Yeah. Him and the whole band. Shout out to BD behind you. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke. That's an inside oh, joke. Oh, yeah, right. it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, clearly got that joke, but clearly you guys had fun. I mean, look yeah. at the energy. Such a great ambience, right? Yeah. So uh, you guys are really uh, rock stars, and thank you so much. That was a fantastic song. Wow, congratulations. Mm, looking good, but I guess that's what Coke Studio is all about. So this is really a unique fusion. Such different people, and one sound united them. What an entertaining evening we've had. A pan-African thank you to Lindiwe, Morena Squire, Cuba, Ifani, Francois van Kook, and Rudolf Willemser. The talent overflows on the show. Now, Trey has been sent out by the producers to find even more unique artists. Enjoy his journey through the country. I'm Nandi Madita. See you next week. <laughs> I'm
I'm on a journey of discovery. I'm in Grammy, Johannesburg. It's a warm day, and I'm looking for a hot woman that is going to spice up Coke Studio. You know her as Zintengiti from a hot song she did with Durban Nights called Sumaya. I'm on a search for one of East London's rising stars, Moby Dixon. I'm in Durban looking for raw, unsigned talent by the name Lordy Lord. Right up there behind me, Lord. I'm on my producers brought me out here because they really want you in the Coke studio. Oh, that's exciting. The producers want you to come and produce. Yeah, I'm looking for some new talent, some new artists. Oh, yeah? Sounds very interesting. You're you gonna do it? I'm down. Are you in? Are you Definitely. sure? Definitely. I am so I don't down. Need you. When do you want me there? All right, let's do sure. it. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's not a competition. That's one thing. Next week, things are changing on Coke Studio. We discovered and invited six raw, unearthed, unsigned, unknown artists from around the country to do a trap masterclass with one of Africa's greatest hit makers, Gemini Major, right here on Coke Studio. They have two days to create two songs, and Gigi Lemayne has to sing on one of them. Who was on the hook? Same thing on the first verse. And, and the verse? Is he on the verse as well? Yeah, the first one. Okay. This is beats, trap, challenges, dab, and drama. <laughs> and that's not all, folks. We'll be doing three tracks next week. We've invited house hitmaker Zinte and Amara Brown from Zimbabwe to crack a new style. Throw in raw Mascandi artist Siswe from Stanga and East London's Moby Dixon. Switch on the shaker, turn on the hit machine. Boom. See you next week. Coke, Coke Studio. Studio. Produced, Produced by, by Good, Good Noise, Noise Productions. Productions.